The custom style script extension allows you to add custom JavaScript code or style CSS code to any page. To go ahead and start using this extension, we first add it to our browser. After we've added this extension, we can then pin it to the browser toolbar. We then have the options as we see here, where we can reload our active tab, toggle it on or off, or go to the options page. So the first thing we need to do to use this extension is go to the options page. And then you'll be met, as you can see here, with different inputs. You have your URL, script, and style. So let's go ahead and add something as an example. So let's load up google.com. So if we want to add custom script or style to this page, we go ahead and copy the URL and add it into the URL input. We can then add either script or style or both. So let's start by adding in some custom JavaScript that's going to make a pop-up appear when we visit that page. So here we go, adding the event listener for the window load and then an alert is going to pop. We go ahead and add this. And you can see this code is now set. You then have the options here within this code, which are domain, top, and iframe. Domain basically means that this will work across the whole domain name, not just a specific URL. So by having this on, it'll work all across google.com. Top means that it checks to make sure that the reference of the page matches the um, location reference of the page in JavaScript to make sure it's the top version of that page so it fires correctly. Whereas the iframe essentially checks that the URL matches this. So essentially, if we were to go to google.com, the iframe would check that this matches via the URL and then it would apply these rules. So by default, the domain and top are selected, but the iframe isn't. You then have the ability to turn this on and off via the state option we see here as well. So to see this work, we go back to Google and we click in our toolbar and we can click to turn on or to reload the page. So we can see here it's already on because it's colored, whereas off makes a grayscale. Now we go ahead and we're gonna reload the active tab. Upon doing so, we see that custom JavaScript has been fired and we saw an alert box that says Google is loaded as we've demonstrated. We can go back to this style and we can go ahead and add some custom code if we like. So for example, let's add some custom CSS. So we want to set the main background of Google as a different color. So let's say we're going to make it red. So here we can see the ID here is main. So we're going to write some CSS for that. And I want to make it red. So we go back to the options panel and inside the code here, we write the main identity selector, and then background color is red. Now when we go ahead, we can see this is indeed kicked in and the main background color is red. What you can also do is you can set multiple rules for the same domain name, which you can then toggle on and off. So for example, let's say we want to keep the Google rule, but we want to make the background color yellow. We can go ahead and add this and then we can go ahead and turn off our old rule while still maintaining that. So when we go ahead and visit and we refresh the page, you'll see it's now yellow. In the same way, we can toggle this back on and turn this off. Go ahead and reload the page again. And we can see it's now red. And we're also seeing that the JavaScript is kicking in because that's part of a custom rule that we have written there. So not only can you set rules for lots of different websites, but you can set multiple rules for the same website and then toggle them on and off as required. You can also make this um, extension work inside incognito mode simply by right clicking, clicking on manage extensions, and then allowing the option here that says allow in incognito. When that's clicked, that also works in incognito mode then as well as your normal Chrome version or browser version.